In this video, we're gonna show you how to change your username for your Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. Okay, so let's check if our Raspberry Pi is up. So I'm just gonna do ping raspberrypi.local. It is responding to traffic, that looks good. So let's log in, let's do sshpi at raspberrypi.local. And we're gonna to have to clear out some SSH stuff here. So just give me one second. Uh, so there's a file called known hosts that uh, just stores some information. And if you, um, if you stand up new devices with the same names, it gets confused. So I just cleared that out. So we should be able to do sshpi at raspberrypi.local. We're gonna select yes. And then we will enter in our password. The default password is raspberry. Okay, so we're going to elevate ourselves to root. So I'm gonna do sudo su dash. All right, so now I'm gonna change the password for the root user. So I'm gonna do sudo pass wd root, because we're gonna to have to use that account uh, for this process. All right, so I just updated the password for the root user. All right, next we wanna disable auto login. So I'm gonna do sudo raspi hyphen config. And we're gonna select pi. And then we're gonna do system options. We're gonna come down to boot auto login. And we're gonna select B3 desktop. And then we're gonna to go to finish. And we're not gonna reboot right this second. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is install Vim because we're gonna need a text editor for the next step. You could use Nano or Emacs. All right, so we're gonna go into etc ssh, and then there's a file called sshd underscore config. That's the one we want to edit. So I'm gonna do Vim sshd underscore con sshd underscore config. And then we're looking for something with the word root in it. There it is. Ooh, what did I do? All right, so if you, uh, in Vim, if you select I, it'll put you into insert mode, and then you can essentially edit as you normally would. We're gonna remove that hashtag to uncomment this line, and then we're gonna change the value to yes. And then we're gonna hit escape, colon, X, enter. And that will just save and close the file. And then we just wanna restart SSH. So we're gonna run sudo service SSH restart. Okay, this is where we wanna reboot our Raspberry Pi. So we're going to do sudo reboot. And that will kick us off. And then we'll just give it a second to um, boot back up. And we should be able to tell if it's back up when it responds to ping traffic. All right, looks like it's back up. So now let's do ssh root at raspberrypi.local. We'll use the password that we set up. And now we should be able to modify the username. So we're gonna do user mod dash L, new username, old username. Okay, and then we just need to rename the home directory. So user mod dash M dash D, home refactored, space refactored. Okay, and then we're going to exit. And then we're going to SSH back in using our new username. Okay, so it's gonna be SSH refactored at raspberrypi.local. And then I'm gonna type my password. Okay. So we've successfully renamed our username on our Raspberry Pi. If you want to stay apprised of the latest around emerging tech such as IoT, Google Cloud Platform, then go ahead and click that subscribe button so you stay in the loop as we publish new content. Thanks.